students in my earlier video lecture we discuss about the traditional methods of performance appraisal now in this video lecture we discuss modern methods of performance appraisal okay so let's start with the modern methods of performance appraisal first one is management by objectives okay so uh, in this method managers and employees collaborate together to identify plan organize and communicate objectives this is usually for a specific appraisal period and objectives are validated using smart method means specific measurable achievable realistic and time sensitive okay is called smart method after setting clear goals managers and employee interact periodically to discuss the feasibility of achieving set objectives and the progress made these measures of progress help analyze the contribution of an employee at the end of the review period success is rewarded with appraisals like salary hike or promotion whereas others are reevaluated for further training okay so business uh, uh, this modern uh, method uh, that is management by objective is ideal for businesses of all sizes evaluation for top management positions like director executives etc okay so ye ho gayi first method management by objectives then we discuss about the second method behavior behaviorally anchored rating scale in this modern method of performance appraisal both the qualitative and quantitative aspects of an employee are evaluated okay it is also called as bars short form bars compares an employee's performance with specific behavioral examples that are assigned a numerical rating as per employee's role and job level bars has a set of predetermined standards called bars statements these statements are used as yardsticks to measure the performance on each bars scale level bars set typical workplace behaviors as per a job role and evaluates an employee's performance in comparison to these set standards how an employee should behave in any given situation is measured as per the expected behavior the performance appraisal with bars provides more accurate and unbiased results okay uh this method of modern technique bars is uh, ideal for all businesses of all sizes and depth of for evaluating entry level to top management performance okay uh it can be a time consuming if the process is not automated with a performance management system okay then we discuss about the assessment center okay third method of um modern methods of is uh, assessment center actually assessment centers introduced by the german army in 1930s okay so assessment centers are uh the concept uh, as a method of performance method is traced back in 1930s in the germany used to appraise its army officers the concept gradually spread to the us and the uk in 1940s and to the britain in 1960s the concept then traverses from the army to business area during 1960s the concept of assessment center is of course of a recent origin in india in india crompton greaves hindustan lever and modi xerox have adopted this technique of performance evaluation okay in business field assessment centers are mainly used for evaluating executive or supervisory potential okay so uh, the distinct advantage of the assessment center provide include more accurate evaluation 
minimum bias, uh, right to selection and promotion of executive and so on. Okay. So, the technique is relatively costly. Uh, assessment centers, uh, this technique is costly and time consuming. Bhi hai. Causes suffocation to the solid performance, discourages to the proof, poor performance, breed unhealthy competition among the assessee and bears adverse effect on those not selected for assessment. Okay. It can ideal for uh, manufacturing, service oriented, educational and consulting firms. Okay. It can be, uh, I have said that it can be costly and time consuming. Okay. Then we discuss about the 360 degree uh, method. Okay. So consider considered a multi-dimensional method of performance appraisal that is 360 degree method is gaining popularity laterally. The method focuses on collecting feedback from everyone. An employee interacts with the managers, customers, peers, etc. When data is collected from multiple sources, the chances of a manager's bias affecting the appraisal are eliminated. Plus, it offers a clear picture of the employee's competence in terms of worth. Businesses understand that employees seek unbiased and objective feedback on their performance to stay motivated and engaged. A continuous 360 degree method opens additional channels of feedback for the employee. The objective evaluation is seen as a fair evaluation and encourages the employee to improve their performance based on the appraisal. Okay. So, uh, it is ideal for, suitable for businesses of all types. The private sector can especially benefit from this method. Okay. So, um, outside sources like customers may not understand how to provide constructive feedback. Okay. So, this method is useful for all type of businesses, especially uh, private sector can benefit from this method. Okay. And lastly, um, cost accounting method. Okay. Uh, this method evaluates an employee's performance from monetary benefits the employee yield to his or her organization. This is ascertained by establishing a relationship between the cost involved in retaining the employee and the benefits an organization derives from his or her. While evaluating an employee's performance under this method, the, the, uh, some factors are also taken into consideration. First factor is unit-wise average value of production or service. Second is quality of product produced or service rendered. Third is overhead cost incurred. Fourth is accidents, damages, errors, spoilage, wastage caused through unusual wear and tear. Fifth one, human relationship with others. And sixth one, cost of the time supervisor spent in appraising the employees. Okay, so this uh, uh, method is cost accounting method is isko human resource cost accounting method bhi kaha jata hai okay so ye jo method hai wo generally startups or small businesses jo hai uh, where each individual employee's contribution holds significance for the employee for the company okay startups ke liye small business ke liye ye useful hai okay it is effective to measure the value of an employee brings to the organization uh, there is no certain guidelines to define the cost and value that an employee offers. It may vary for each uh, evaluator. Okay. So, uh, the cost of retaining an employee is regard to their contribution is evaluated to get the cost of the employee for the organization. This method of performance appraisal considers factors like uh, work quality, overhead cost, unit-wise average service value, interpersonal skills and so on. The idea is to analyze how the contributions compare with regard to cost benefit the organization. In this method, the company appraises employees on the basis of cost to the company and the value they offer. 
okay so student i hope you understand this lecture if you have any problem then message me in my comment box see you soon in my next video lecture till then take care thank you